turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are over there somewhere. And here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Uh, well, I am here today on a request. Somebody, uh, the, one of the last things I did was I fumed a marble and the marble uh, had silver, gold, and also Illuminati in it, and it became a vortex marble. And I also put a little bit of an opal in it. I mean, I just threw the kitchen sink at that sucker, and it worked out real well. Now, uh, today, uh, as a request, somebody has asked about fuming. So what I've got here is a benchmark, uh, three pieces, of the, two sets of three pieces. Um, a set of turtles and a set of horse heads and you can see let me tilt that up just a little bit more there you go and those torch heads and that that uh, and also in the center of this now let me see if I can zoom in and get up there on this thing I have a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver the silver is refined 9.99 and the gold is 22 karat gold uh, I got the wire from Mountain Glass Art or Mar uh, Mountain Art Glass I keep screwing those over and I'm sorry about that guys but uh, they sell you the wire it's only like about really short but uh, it's only like 20 or 30 dollars but it gives you a chance to play with some gold and with the silver all you need is a silver coin and then you just can just it's going to take a little bit of time and effort, but you can chunk it down, or even if you get some fine, thin silver wafer or whatever, silver wire, nine, you know, fine silver wire, uh, that'll do the trick too. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is a benchmark, and it's simple fuming. There is ways of doing fuming that you can get tons of different colors, tons of, uh, like for example, this is fumed with silver, and you can see some greens and blues. And that's the way it came out. A uh, little bit of everything came through. You just never know. Uh, and you can do it and a lot of times. And it can, to me, uh, most of the color that I have created is more or less a nice yellow like this. This is fumed with silver. And it has, uh, and I will also put a URL to me uh, making uh, silver fume tubing. From scratch I think I've got one if I don't I'll make it there and that's the type of colors that you get just by fuming things with silver and and making it in into pieces and you can get yellows you can get greens you can get blues it all depends on what you're doing with it and how you're doing it today uh, I also want to show you I have some puntes with silver already to go this one is uh, refined silver uh, and I have it on a quartz rod that I made and again I will put the URL of me actually taking a beach pebble and melting it down and making that into a rod uh, then on top of that um, uh, today I'm going to put both these on boro puntes to show that you don't need quartz but quartz helps in some respects and it does you just got to make sure that you're, you're playing with it and pointing it in the right direction and make sure you got Ventilation, it's very important. Uh, in, inhaling fumes is not the, the funnest thing in the world. So here we go. I'm gonna light this sucker up. There we go, ah, fire, that's fire. Okay, tilt this back a little bit now. Now I don't need, when you're fuming with silver, but I, and I'll do the silver first. And uh, here we go, I'm gonna, basically uh, heat up this punte and then touch it to that little blob of silver right there and let it stick to the rod okay to show that it can happen silver is a lot cheaper to work with and a lot easier to play with uh, a lot people and even if you have a sterling silver chain or something like that that's broken and you want to try playing with that hey um, not as fine silver not the 999 point you know 0.999 fine but it does have the uh, fuming capabilities that will give you color that you couldn't have gotten 
otherwise. Okay, now let's get back to what I was doing, which I'm heating this punte up and I'm going to touch it to that blob of silver there and we're going to go from there. Right, right, right. Here we go. And sometimes it'll stick and sometimes it won't. You just got to get the, the uh, piece of silver hot enough. There it went, it stuck, and it's in there. Okay. And now we're going to fume a couple of pieces. Actually, we're going to fume both horses that I'm going to do with silver first. And then I'm going, and the, also the, the turtles. And there's a reason for that. One I'm going to fume really, really heavy. And the other one I'm going to fume really, really light. And the reason for that is to make gold adhere better to the glass, it is sometimes better to go ahead and add just a light coating of silver to begin with. And the flame that I'm using is a very, very light flame. And you can see it sort of dancing around. And it's not as hot and heavy as you would do some things with. And once the silver reacts there it goes there we go some nice pretty stuff silver fume oop there we go of course it's not gonna focus okay and I'm gonna do the next one the same thing but I'm gonna do it a little lighter again there's method to the madness, folks. Method to the madness. Okay. Now we're going to just lightly fume. That's all it needed, just a little bit. And it, you can see it's sort of started to turn a little bit yellow. Can't see it much, but it's, it's in there. That's all you need, just a very light coating. And then that'll adhere better to, the gold will adhere better to the piece itself. And I'm going to leave the last one alone to show you the benchmark. And now we're going to do the turtles, the same thing. First one really heavy. Next one pretty light. Now these are turtles... This is one of the first shows, I'd have to say 90% of the time, 99% of the time, I come in and shoot from the hip and give you a show like, you know, right as, a, as it happens, you see it. And this one I had to do a little bit of prep work, get these figurines ready to go so that you can uh, see what's going to happen. Now also... When you're fuming with silver, sometimes the silver likes to try to embed itself into the glass. Oops. So the best thing to do is heat up the glass around it and pinch. Uh, of course, it's, the flame is low because of what I'm trying to do. Pinch it out so that it becomes right there on the surface. And now you'll see a little bit of difference happening here. Almost immediately. Boom. There we go. Now there are subtleties. Okay, there. I really, really put it on there this time. Sweet. There are subtleties to this that you can really get some pretty good colors out of it. Um, just a matter of getting the right temperature and playing with it. That's all there is to it, guys. Okay, now I'm going to again uh, do the, uh, the other turtle just lightly with it. And at this size, this is borosilicate, guys, um, that I'm working with. And you know that if it was a piece of soft glass and I was putting it in the flame like I am cold... You know and I know that it would uh, stress out and probably crack. But if you you know what you're doing, you warm it in a little bit, you keep it going, and then you warm it out a little bit. You're good to go. 
Okay, now that one is also looking good. I'm going to fire polish. I'll end up putting it back on there anyway, but let's do it. Okay, now we got... Actually, I'm going to add a little bit more silver to this one since I've finally gotten the right temp to these. There we go. Like so. Once it starts, it just sort of bombards and fumes over there. Sweet. Okay. That one. Done. Now, I'm going to take and put the other one back on. And now, we're going to uh, do the gold fuming. And I need to get another piece of boro ready to go. This is the silver. Set that aside. And it's always good to have a cup of, uh, of a few of those ready to go because sometimes the silver likes to dance off of your, or your gold likes to dance off of your uh, rod that you're working with and it bounces onto the table somewhere, which, you know, you just got to keep track of or sweep up your table from time to time and clean it up. Oh yeah, I do that all the time. You know I clean my table constantly. <laughs> okay, now again, I'm going to heat this up and touch it to the gold. Try it again. Sometimes it takes a little a few more times to warm it in and touch it too. There it goes, it's in there now. It's like Prego, it's in there. <laughs> now with gold, it's a different flame entirely. Now if you want it more purple in color or purple in hue, you really sharpen it up and give it a really oxygenated flame. But today I'm tr going for pink. So here we go. Let's see if we can make this work here, guys. And pray I got some good gold. There we go. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's turning out to be a nice pink and gold luster, like I wanted. Oh yeah. Tap that off, fire polish. And now the sea turtle, the same deal. Let's zoom out. I forgot it. I've been zoomed in all this time. Sorry, guys. Hope you've been seeing some of what I've been doing. If not, I'll have to do it all over again. Like, But that's what life's all about. Starting from scratch sometime. Oh, yeah. Much better. You can see the colors come out in that really good. And there we go. Now we've got fumed with silver and fumed with gold. Now I'm going to pause it and then I will uh, put these on a white background so you can see them. And of course the piece of white background that I've got is not white background enough. <laughs> well, there we go. That should do the trick. Okay. Here we go. Of course it's not going to. But let's see if we can do it. There we go. That'll work. The one on the far left is the silver. The one in the middle is gold. And the one on the right, of course, is the original color that they were. And now for the sea turtles, same idea. Silver, gold, and clear. All from the same piece of glass. Thanks for watching, guys.
as always carpe vitro let's see this would be a good group shot for the picture itself that comes out and enjoy your day okay one more thing I wanted to add about fuming is you'll start melting and twisting and pulling with silver puntes and uh, I mean fuming with silver puntes and gold puntes for both and the thing you've got to uh, realize is that sooner or later the silver uh, I think I mentioned pinches you have to pinch it out sometimes to keep it working and with the gold it also tends to you got to really ease it in or you're gonna lose it but also with the silver um, after a while the silver burns out and there's a little bit of so like silver chunk left I guess you could say but um, and not really a chunk but it's something you can't really use in, in the fuming anymore don't throw it away this is not really one of those things but it's what I've done with a piece of silver that didn't quite come out and what you end up doing is twisting stretching and pulling those things into a rod and it makes let me get one or two of them real quick this is what you can do with it. It, it, it can this is a rod made just from fuming and then sometimes I can take a chunk chunks of the uh, of the silver fumed rod I guess you can take it give me a second I'm trying to find some. of course you can't find what you're looking for when you want it maybe this oh yeah some of this it's where it's different colors and different thicknesses you can see the swirls of color in there now one of the things about that is you know you'll want to scrap it and throw it away don't uh, actually make rod out of it that's what I'm trying to get at you take the fumes or chunks like this that you don't like anymore and then you just of course never wrong oh, let's try the new lighter and see if it works any better oh, yeah, it's actually got a light flame going on there you go now what you do the stuff that's silver don't waste it don't throw it away don't chunk it what you need to do is go ahead and re whoa of course it's going to stress out and crack on me there we go it's getting up to temp and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take and twist that fume into a rod like so it might take a little bit and those swirls you know a piece of fuming that didn't right, quite work well don't waste it play with it later enjoy the the, uh, the chance of making a, 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 a figurine or an animal or a bead with just a little bit of silver in it or a little bit of gold and it really swirls in really nice and you stretch it out and then you got it sort of like a corkscrew swirl going on which is pretty interesting you never know what it can do and, you know you can do it to a, a a bead or or a figurine or an animal and then if you wanted to add more of the silver to it or or get a more concentrated silver look to it you just fold it over and twist it in again and that way it's gonna get more complex uh, pattern going on There you go. Oops, if I can get a hold of it any time soon. 
There you go. Stretch it. Pull. And boom. Even more so than just the, the, the swirl pattern. And it does have a light yellow tint to it. That's the cool part. Coming up with something you didn't have five minutes ago. And as always, Carpe Vitro. And enjoy your day.